As I, as I told, today's project is all about the traffic light. Before the starting new project in EasySoft 3.0, I would like to talk about the live traffic. We have, uh, I aim it exactly, I want to say that. I aim it to illustrate in EasySoft two kind of traffic lights. One of them is very easy to assemble, to understand even, but a just bit more complicated than our previous projects. And the second one is uh, more complicated than first one. Let's start with first one, which is the I prefer to call easy one. And for this we need some button which will uh, set our uh, whole system, la traffic light. Uh, everybody knows that in traffic light we have three kind of lighting, red one, yellow and of course green one. We will call this one like the input one. This is our all set button which will set the total uh, total connection of our system will totally connect our system here we have draw some feedbacks Q1 and it will use like in this process I exactly intentionally uh, didn't start from this first line I will utilize this first line for, for uh, making some circles in uh, our traffic light system let's draw I will explain it a bit later let's draw some timers timer 1 which is indispensable we give this 3 second wait and after 3 second our timer 1 will exactly ok activate our second light which is the yellow one first Q1 is a uh, red one, red lid, uh, lid, red lamp, excuse me, and second one is yellow lamp, which is uh, another stage is insp indispensable, and we have to make some self-resetting systems. I mean exactly after three seconds later, when our ti timer is uh, on delay timer is activated, it have to activate yellow one, but we have to take into accordance that when we have yellow lamp switch it on it have to reset uh, red one red lid because in traffic light works like that that's why we make here some inverse connection which name it Q2 and let's look at the briefly what it works we set it and 3 second wait yes it reset for uh, maintaining the position of yellow one yellow lamp we have to draw here some output uh, feedbacks then now three second wait and activated yellow one that's good and in the next stage we will have here again another timer and it will wait approximately three seconds but we can give the five two one whatever we you we want so seconds and the timer output will be situated here timer oh my god I prefer I call this the timer timer 2 let's give the timer 2 yes here and T T 2 timer 2 we go to the green lamp which is the output 3 and uh, activating green lamp we uh, have to deactivate the yellow one that's why we twice clicked here and typed the Q inverse output inverse 3 which is the green lid in, this in our cases then uh, we have to mention about that after green, green lid waits 3 seconds so we have to this one exactly 3 seconds wait and feedback don't don't forget about feedback and feedback have to be compulsory yes after three seconds wait green lid will activate red uh, lamp again and activation of red lamp have to deactivate green that's why we have to draw here Q inverse one yes and we have timer two uh, three here timer three we will utilize in our proposals like three accepted let's uh, run 
it's not a totally uh, completed uh, scheme and let's run I will set it now red now yellow one wait 3 seconds just green one and we'll wait then nothing because we haven't any circle which will exactly uh, activate the, our first lamp which is the red one for this we have to draw in an output of our timer and other input it's the uh, I would like to call it it's a bridge input uh, I'm sorry it's bridge output and bridge output will situate it here which is the Q4 now we have the complete scan like this watch carefully now yellow wait three seconds green one wait three seconds and we'll activate red one and wait three seconds wait three and now yellow and passes to red one and finally again the green one but we haven't uh, any reset button I mean we exactly set it and we are not able to reset it that's why we have to draw here which is the input 2 and here also we can add the input to the same name which is we'll press only one button for resetting just it doesn't matter for us we can add any number of this one for example we have now red one we want to reset it reset it we have red one we reset it we have red one it passes to the yellow passes to the green and we reset it it doesn't matter for us reset button is reset button that's all about the uh, non-advanced uh, traffic light it's very easy traffic light system but we have the more complicated ones nowadays in industry uh, in the next project I will try endeavor to uh, cover even this uh, light traffic traffic lights thank you for watching this time that's all